Yo, what's up, guys? KB Nero here. Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk to you about something which I think is really one of the most important things. Uh, this is specifically for business when you're running your business. And uh, the first time I came across this was uh, when I was studying Napoleon Hill. And uh, if you don't know who Napoleon Hill is, this is one person who studied. Uh, over f I think over 500 uh, people, the most powerful people in the on the planet, and and in terms of riches and power and influence, and his his intention was to learn what made these people successful. So one of the things that he 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 found out was something he called a mastermind. Okay, I think this is really really important for you to have. If if you're going to survive in your business, you know, if you're going to be able to take your business to the next level, because there is a lot of things that happens, you know, if you are alone, if you're working alone, and you don't have support, somebody who supports you, it can really be very uh, very difficult. So in this video, I'm going to tell a story. I'm gonna be telling a story. And uh, it's, it's, it's basically going to be about that, exactly that, you know, the power of that. Uh, it, and it's really, really powerful. So the story goes like this, that um, uh, one, once an old man was very ill and lay dying in his bed. And he had like four four sons who were all fighting. You know, these, these boys were like fighting with each other constantly, right? So he was, he was always worried about them and wanted to teach them a lesson. And so he asked his sons to come to him. When they came and the old man gave them a bundle of sticks. So he gave them a bundle of sticks and said, can you break these sticks? He asked these guys, these boys. So the first of the, of the boys, the first son tried to break the bundle, but nothing happened because it was a bundle of sticks, you know. Kind of like a uh, bundle, kind of like like this. So it, he gave he, he gave it to them. Can you break these sticks? So they tried. Well, the first boy tried. Yeah, uh, he couldn't break break them. Nothing happened. He tried very hard and finally gave up. Then it was the turn of the second son. The first was the first son who tried this. So the second son tried his luck. He, th he thought it would be an easy task and picked up the the sticks easily. So he thought he, he was going to break them. He tried his best but to break the bricks, but nothing happened. Then the third son tried to break the bundle of sticks, but he couldn't do anything either. Meanwhile, the youngest one, the youngest one was looking at these guys and was like uh, <laughs> smiling at his brothers. And thought they were very incompetent, so he thought he was very clever and took one stick at a time and easily bro broke them all. So for him, the youngest boy took the stick, bang, took one after one, one after the other, and broke them all. These are my pens, so I'm not going to break them, just to elicit, you know, to demonstrate. But you guys understand what I mean. So. There was a reason why the father did this to these boys. He wanted to prove something to them. And the old father then smiled at his sons and said, Children, do you understand what happened? It is always easy to break the stick one by one. And in this case, this youngest, the smallest boy, is the one who was able to break one by one. And he is obviously the weakest among them in strength. But the father said, when they are bundled together, none of you could break them. And in the same way, your four brothers, you four brothers should always be together. No one will be able to hurt you then. So the four brothers realized what their father was trying to teach them and, and forgot all their enmity and learned that unity is strength. From that day on, while they never fought with each other and lived together in peace and harmony. So this is a very nice story. I like this story really. And uh, it teaches unity. There's a tremendous power in unity. 
if you've read the Bible, if you're a Christian, there are certain verses. There certain verses in the in the Bible that says, "Where where two or more are together, nothing can be impossible unto them." Something like that. So, um, I'm you know I'm not I'm not like a Christian who knows who reads. So I can't I can't tell you. You have to go and study the Bible. I can't even give you the 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 the, the exact verse or where to find it. But what I know is that there's a verse like that. But the meaning, the meaning of the verse, I understand the meaning of the verse, even though I don't understand it literally, word by word. Imagine like this, when two, when you have a friend, when you're doing a business together with a friend, let's say you have a task, you know, you encourage each other. You're encouraging each other. Let's say, for instance, if it's something difficult you don't like doing, like let's say telemarketing, you don't like calling people and getting rejection, rejection, rejection after rejection, abuse and stuff like that on the phone. If you do it alone, you may do it, call maybe, you call 100 people and you, you receive 50 rejection and then you feel, you know, your energy, you, you feel out of your energy, you know, you depleted completely. But if you are two and you're kind of competing against each other, there is a lot of power there that helps you to go through, you know, when you're encouraging each other. So what I, was, what I wanted to suggest to you guys, you know, if you are watching this, if you have goals in your life, you need to ally yourself with somebody, at least one person. Do all you can do, struggle as much as you can do to find the one person that you'll be able to build your business with or to share your your goals with somebody who will be there to push you forward okay and if you don't have this somebody that's not a big problem either if you don't have this somebody if you, if you don't have it's not a big problem either because the best friend you can ever have is yourself you know you can be your best friend and you can uh, you can encourage yourself in many ways you know uh, through repetition of your goals to yourself you can even record some affirmation for yourself, some encouraging words for yourself, and re record record it, and then be uh, playing this to yourself to give you to boost your energy up, to give you more encouragement, to re reprogram your subconscious mind because everything is through reprogramming, uh, so that you get to believe in what you are doing and, and your goals. But to do as much as you can to find at least to ally yourself with one person who will share your vision with you. And who will push you? Who is for you? Who's not? Uh, who 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 before you? And who will push you for you to raise up? So that is what I wanted to talk to you about. If you follow this, you know that is going to help you in your business very much. So, and if you don't have this person, don't get discouraged either. Just continue, and uh, and follow some of the advice I gave you. You know, write down your stuff, uh, re-record your stuff, and play this stuff to yourself. It is going to help you in many ways. So, my name is Kibbe Nero. Subscribe to my channel. And if you don't, if you're in a business, it's fine. It's perfect. Uh, we have some material, some material that can help you to boost your business up. Marketing strategies that are up to date right now, that are relevant right now, that are working. You know, if you have struggling with finding leads, we can show you where to find leads. Uh, if you don't know paid marketing strategies that work, there's so many. We have everything here. So all you need to do is click on the link below this video to get started. And also, if you're interested in affiliate element, which we also have in connection to this, you know, to our products, you can become an affiliate, and you get to keep 100% of the money, 100% commissions. So. You sell the product and keep 100% commissions. The company itself and the people that brings this together, they do the same. But for the infrastructure to run the company and the infrastructure and everything, they charge an affiliate commission, uh, uh, an affiliate fee of about it's around roughly $20, $19.95. So that's nothing. But you get to keep the rest of the money when you make sales, whether it's a $1,000 sales. But that's three thousand dollars sales. I'm tell you something. You can even make up to four thousand six hundred dollars per per person. So 
there is tremendous tremendous benefits here so click the link below to get started straight away Kibiniro. thanks